What is going on Wolfpack Savage here? In today's video, I'm gonna be breaking down my own gameplay, putting you guys in my mind, explaining my thought processes and why I make the decisions that I make mid game in order to go out there and either win a game or lose the game. In today's match, we do drop over 20 kills. This is a W, so we're gonna have a decent momentum game. And during this match, we do drop a total of 70 kills a squad. But if you do enjoy the video, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to the channel today, and without any further ado, let's go ahead and dive into the gameplay. Low key, I know you're gonna think I'm crazy, but like salt mine, all the bots go there, easy kills. All right, so he's not wrong. So the, the thought process behind that is there's a lot of hot drop areas, but for some reason, a lot of players in their head, they're like, well, I'm gonna land away from the hot action. I'm gonna go salt mine instead. Plot twist, that's everyone's first thought. So salt mine becomes kind of, I wouldn't say a hot area, but it's usually about two or three teams in this area. On the um, nonetheless, yeah, so if you guys are landing salt mine to be safe, the they're like, "Why do you land salt mine?" I'm like, Trust. "Don't." Oh, there he is. Look at look at the bot. Look at the bot. Look at the bot. <laughs> oh, look at him. Get him. Get him, baby. Broken. And there he is. That's pretty self-explanatory right there. Right? Don't slow float to the ground. And no, here, he didn't right? AFK drop. Honestly? He what? dropped oh, way oh, before oh, the plane's oh, out of bounds. Right, um, he just good decided good. to oh, slow float to the ground for no reason at all. And throughout this match, I'm gonna try my best to remain quiet until I have to explain certain things. Um, that way you guys can hear the banter and the comments between the squad mates and kind of get an understanding of how we operate as a team. Now, this is the first time I play with Corrupt, so we have no previous teamwork together. Um, and we ended really flowed really well. And of course, and you guys know that I play the spell mouse, pretty often. Corrupt? So this Controller. is basically a vibe. I'm on keyboard and mouse. Thank God. Oh, oh Jesus, thank God. We got a full keyboard and mouse team. We're about thank to get 1.8 KD lobbies, bro. Yeah, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna have a fun time though. All right, so right now we're coming up with a squad. As you guys can see on the mini map over here, we have three blips. And already I'm taking note that there's a teammate on the top floor of the house to the left, and there's two on the ground level by the garage. Oh, so so we're going to approach this fight with the easiest oh team God. first. Of course, jumping out on the garage team. Oh, I didn't cheat against that guy, so there you go. One, 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 one. Now, during this fight here, notice how I jumped out of the vehicle. Let's hit a little rewind with it real quick. Never. Notice how I jump out of the vehicle and instead of just going inside to contest them right to their face because I have no idea how good this squad is, I hit them from a different angle. And also with me hitting it from a different angle, it opens it up for me to be able to come up and save my teammate who goes down to another enemy. Now I will say good on the enemy right there for not going for the execute and trying to outplay the situation. Props to him for that. Most of the time, the enemy sit there and try to execute my teammate and then he's an easy kill because he unpeaked the fight and then he re-entered it when he was reloaded and ready to try to contest it for the W. So he tried his best instead of going for the execute. Gotta give him props there. And also notice my next call out. Oh, we got a vehicle down below to the west. So I'm already calling it out. While I'm rezzing right after the fight, what happens with my eyes? The first thing my eyes glance to is the mini map because I want to know what's going on around me. Mini map has so much information, yet a lot of people just abandon the whole thing together. They may glance at it a couple times during the match, but I'm looking at it at least every five seconds. And I'm not exaggerating when I'm saying that. The only time I'm not glancing at it is when I'm in the middle of gunfire, and even sometimes then, I'm still watching if I hear other gunshots going on around me or vehicles to kind of get a layout of where enemies will be flanking me from. So again, I notice there's a vehicle down to the west. Instantly say, hey, vehicle down below us to the west. Let my teammates know the elevation they're at, which is clear, um, the direction according to the compass, and the fact that, hey, look for the vehicle. So three different things for them to look for. Oh yeah, he's coming. He went, oh, oh, he got out. Let's go, baby. Now this situation here, we're already Let's shooting go, at him or at least Expel was, I wasn't shooting at him yet. And even though Expel was shooting at him, he still went for the full sin to get his teammate back. Now, a lot of people might think this is dumb and it probably isn't the best decision, but you've already built out of your vehicle. And now that we're shooting at you, you're kind of stuck regardless. You are what seems to be a solo trio situation. So getting your squad mate back, probably a good idea because you're probably gonna die. And at least if you get your teammate back, you have some kind of a chance. So we do get the All knock, right. there oh. it is. And of course, when we go on in now, how his team oh, plays this is completely wrong. One guy's in the sky, the other guy's not. I think he's in the... Oh, he's on me. I, my... okay. he's one. I jump really out, hit him from a whole different angle, and I notice his teammate's Wait. falling in right in front of me. Now, you can see him by, by the gun right here. Um, This is a no-no. This is what you don't do. In situations like this, when... Your teammate's mid-fire. He's probably a little bit further up in the sky, right? So he should have dove away and tried to go for the regain instead of full sending an entire trio when all you have is a pistol. Very here. bad call. He didn't even hit the ground. You're not touching the ground, big boy. The free one, too. I was, I'm broke. All right, so now again, look at the mini-map. Notice the direction yeah, we're going. Know. We want to chase down everything. Also, I want you guys to pay attention to how many UAVs we have this entire game. 
And again, everything goes back to UAVs, minimap, um, and or bounties. I do believe we might grab some bounties this game. I don't know. We're usually bounty whores, but so far, doesn't seem like it. Right now, over here. There's a guy right here yeah. on uh, my blue mark. Oh, hey, sweetheart. He's behind the door. But, oh, he's just sitting oh behind the door, what bro. The hell? All right, so real quick, again, I'm not going to talk during it, but I do want to make a pause. Notice how when we were pulling up, I said, hey, there are two teams here. How did I know that? Well, clearly, the guy that was on the minimap was shooting at somebody because we saw him on the minimap. We heard a gunshot, so I knew he was fighting another team. So, of course, as we're pulling up, I called that out. Hey, there's two teams. The moment I did that, Krupp was like, yeah, bro, I see this guy running in here. And then we instantly converged on him. Now, he was kind of in a good hiding spot, but none of us expected that, and he could have really... Got an easy double kill if he would have been a little, little bit more accurate. But regardless, we go in there, we 2v1 on that. So that's pretty self-explanatory. But again, going back to the callouts, going back to noticing what's going on around you, just increase your observation. Don't just tunnel vision on finding players, getting the kills. Again, the minimap is a cheat code. Make sure you're using the hell out of it. You can find out so much information from the minimap. Get the crap know. out. Oh, these guys are ground level, ground level, ground level, ground level. Again, you have at least. Minimap. Yeah. Great oh my god, he fucking body blocked me, oh, bro. Oh shit. The other guy's one HP. Uh, last teammates in the trailers to the 28. Now, I'm not going to pause this right here and take, take up too much of your time, but again, I was mid plating when I entered that room like an idiot. That was a stupid call on me. Um, I deserved to die on that one. That was absolutely ignorant. I thought my plates would be finished popping by the time I entered there, and it almost cost me my life and my teammate's life. He Honestly. does. Stupid decision <laughs> on me. Shit. Wait, did you kill this guy? I'm gonna end up dying because I'm like trying to rush to get the kills first, and that's kind of cringe. Not gonna lie, that's that happens a lot. Yeah, honestly, honestly most of the time that I'm dying is it's I, because I'm, I'm putting myself sorry, in bad position. You since expel uh, oh, oh to fight for the kills. I want to oh, okay. ride in the car with that trophy. Bro. But as a fact, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god, I guess I'll ride with. The and I know a lot of you guys have been there as well. Fight your teammates for kills. It's a big no no, but we're all guilty of it. Got me. All of us. Yeah, I got a close destroyer. I'm called in. Um, like, uh, they're fighting in, right there uh, on the dots. Uh, you guys just being on the roof is terrifying. You're no, no, expel. We don't helicopter? like your negativity, sir. There's a sniper sir. and a helicopter in the sky. Now we'll let you know. I'm using the wrong barrel on my EM2 because it's not. It wasn't leveled up at the time. Now it is. So the accuracy on it's not as good as it should be. Again, I know he's more damaged than me, so I'm gonna go ahead and. And basically uh, full send that. In? Oh god! I notice there's enemies on the mountain, so I instantly come back this way. Oh my god! What? Found that guy. I'm in trouble, boys. <gasps> Guys on the oh, hill to the east. The All right, cool, cool, cool. He's running. Where, where you have. You have. By the way, there's the three enemy fought. teams here. Actually, now four. I think he's got another teammate up there. I got shot by two guys. I'm gonna go make sure. Wait, are they? What? No, stop there it, bro. Is. Why were they shooting at me from over there? I lost the door. I lost the door. Hey, I'm trying to kill these guys. My down one. Where are these guys you, at? Wait, you sniped the guy out of the chop? All right, now let's let's talk about this whole fight, and we'll watch it back, and I'll have it muted because there's a lot to say with this fight. Because there's a lot going on, right? And you can only do so much things. And a lot of people are like, Savage, how am I supposed to be looking at the mini-map while I'm doing this, while I'm fighting, while I'm doing this, throw up UAV, chase down the bounty. It's a lot of shit to do. You gotta, you gotta do it, man. So look, um, we come into a fight now. Unbeknownst to us, there are four teams total in this entire area. Um, of course, the guy that I killed by the buy station calls back in two of his teammates. So he's by himself. We have a team over in this direction here, which we end up killing as well. And then we have a team up at the mountain. But... This helicopter is another team as well that ends up taking the rooftop of this building. There are a lot of teams here, and at one point I felt like I was gonna die, even called it out. So let's let's take this step by step. So I come in here knowing that there's a player going towards the buy station. I saw the ping moving towards it. There it is. Switch it to my SMG, right gun for the right fight, instantly getting the kill. Go ahead, get the kill. That's pretty easy. Diving away because again, I saw this ping and I knew damn well the moment I killed him. He was going to look my direction, try to shoot me. That's exactly what happened. So I dive away and then I instantly re-ego challenge because my health is basically full. And I put some damage on him. Now at this point, I hit him four times. So in my head, I know he's weaker than I am. So no matter what happens in this fight, as long as I hit my shots, I should win the fight. So I come around here and unfortunately for him, he decides he wants to play. Now, 
if he wants to play that's fine but you need to play the cover to your advantage unfortunately he's just sitting between the cover not actually behind the cover being the walls or the vehicle right and also when you're plating don't just sit still move side to side you want to keep peeking to see where i'm at but freezing up like this let me shoot you through a fence is a big no-no so when this happens i notice instantly i look at the mini map and i say to myself holy shit, there's a guy up on the hill so i instantly dive away and i come back in this area but unfortunately because these guys on the on the uh, top of the building i'm in a bad spot now i didn't notice that i did not notice at the time that the vehicle parked on top of the building and that had a good angle on me which puts me puts, puts me in this bad position so i bail away I separate myself from everybody, basically blinding myself from everyone who could shoot me, replate up, and then I re-enter the entire fight. Now, I want you guys to notice as well what's going on with our team. Expel's focused on a whole other team to put suppression on them. I'm focusing on the guys on the hill, and so is Blue. But you'll notice Blue hopping back and forth between teams, trying to help out both of us. And because there's so much hectic chaos going on around us, I decided this is probably a good time to buy a UAV. So that's exactly what I do. So I got the money. This is perfect. This will kind of ease my mind. I'll be able to know where everyone's at. And there we go. So I already knew the guys were on the rooftop. I already knew those guys on the mountain. I just want to make sure that the guys that were over here were completely dead. And that the guys that were inside of the area with us are completely dead. Because again, there's a lot of shit going on. You can ask for calls all you want. But again, because it's so hectic at the in the middle of this fight, ain't nobody on the team going to be able to tell you what's going on. So you need a UAV to go ahead and solidify it. I decided to myself, I'm gonna go up here and push this guy because I'm tired of him fighting us while we're trying to fight the other squad. I'm relying on Expel and Corrupt to get those knocks, which they are, and then I come up here and just get an easy 1v1, but Corrupt is on my ass just in case I do go down. So great play by Corrupt, sticking with me. Great play by Corrupt, honestly, um, navigating both areas. Literally, as we're pushing up, you can notice his, his arrow on the minimap looking both ways. He'll turn around, help out Expel, come back to the fight that we're in. Now, we instantly have a bounty out here in the field. Again, I noticed that on the mini-map because what do my eyes do after every kill? Look at the damn mini-map! Um, I think you gave that guy. No, you got the kill. You got sniper the kill. Boy, you sniper boy, sniper boy, sniper boy. Okay. You got one of the kills. Yeah, there is two of them in there. Yeah, you sniped one of them out, bro. Now, again, this is the wrong barrel. The uh, EM2 was not completely leveled up at the time, so I'm using an inaccurate barrel. So do not judge my accuracy. I'm feeling some type of way about it. And I'm gonna pop another UE because I feel like there's still stragglers. Like apparently not. I think I even say something during this game about it. Well, this is. Stupid. I got a UE in the pocket. All right, right now, I noticed they picked up his boy, so I'm gonna go ahead and put some shots on the berth, but just to try to damage a little bit. Um, I noticed he's just gonna go through the fence, so I just bail away. Fucking EM2. I'm trash. I could have a better job with the AK than I do with the EM2. There it is. There's the griping. Thank you, sir. Could blow up that Bertha. It's a Bertha? Yeah. Yo, I'm gonna grab high alert. Right. Uh, the car might blow up. Yeah, this is no, kind of a crazy like call, honestly, but we're this. feeling ourselves so hot right now. We're just like, you know what? Let's full send this shit. So, so I'm going to go ahead no, and continue to put on. damage on the Bertha. That way I can hopefully disable down, it and down. we can get an easy kill. You son of a gun. You took so long. Down. Got out. It's the same kid from earlier. Yeah. I yeah. thought there was a third, but I guess not. Notice how Expel goes into the window. I'm gonna go around no, no, through no, the no, opposite no side, just in case enemy tries to run out. Oh, he precisioned my ass. Well, I forgot about that. that I'm gonna be honest. I got stuck on the hill. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Guy on the hill. All right. So the guy on the hill is their third. Notice I did I say it. that. I, so high, I thought there was three, today. but I guess hot. not. Yeah, the There's the third. Right You're hot too. <laughs> Great precision though. Wow. Two. Two. There's one more I'm on the hill. Yeah, now, what I'm trying to do out right now is I'm running out in the open, going back and forth, trying to bait for shots so we can see where he's at, but he's not taking the bait, not shooting at us, so we have to move on. Yeah. But we have to move on with $30,000, so we're sitting pretty good right now. Get a bunch of UAVs, bunch of self reses, call it a damn day. It's a party out here. Yeah, true. I dropped the rest of my money. Uh, I'm dropping my. Okay, that's fine. I'll just get a UAV. Give me my restock, son. I just dropped a Swiss if anybody needs it. All right, let's go. Oh, oh, we got a guy right here. Yeah, I'm not going to that. <laughs> that was a good call. Circle's like, yeah, coming in right now. The guy's going to be on the hill. He's going to die regardless. He's going to have to be on foot, and it's the first zone. There's no way he's surviving that. Last thing we want to do is get in a fight. He disables our vehicle, and then we end up having to be on foot and in a very unfortunate position. 
So as they drive by, I'm gonna go ahead and grab the bounty. That way they can move on. I do have a vehicle here. You wanna go? I got a vehicle here. I can take. There it is. Or if you just wanna wait, sure? it don't matter. Yeah, it don't matter to me. All right, there's. Crack that guy jumping on you. Um. All right, so in that fight there real quick, um, base guy went in there and footsteps was the only reason why I knew he was coming to the, uh, the staircase. I mean, I go in there, he's distracted my teammate, I get the first down and I instantly come out. I heard expel come up the staircase. I thought that was the enemy at first, but even as I passed expel, I still heard, foot, I still heard footsteps below me on the staircase. That's why I kind of jumped around and got the shots off on the enemy. Now here we have another player in the top window. I don't notice him at first. I jump out, put myself in a bad position. I'm able to get some great shots. There's another one up top that I didn't see, but thankfully he didn't see me either. And I'm gonna go ahead in and try my best to full send the hell out of that guy. But he does jump out the window regardless, and I do lose out on the kill. I know eyes. One more enemy in this building here, and there's that team wipe. Now there were two teams camping here next to each other, and nobody was fighting. This is basically a common thing when it comes to any lobbies that I've ever had the pleasure of spectating or playing in. It happens. So then this is why I tell you guys when you're finished with a fight, always look at the mini map, always look around. Because nine times out of my voice is cracking. I know, guys, I'm not feeling too hot. But always assume that there's other players around because a lot of times there are. A lot of times, not only are the enemies holding hands, but enemy teams are holding hands with each other and they're not even shooting at each other. Is what I was trying to say. I'm actually going to leave that. Oh, I don't need anything. You can... yeah. Wait, what? Oh, we're getting shot from here. Getting sniped at 255. I'm still trying to bait shots. That's why I'm standing on top of the vehicle. There's the glare on the right hand side. I noticed it a little too late. And Expel gets the knock. So what happens when Expel gets the knock? You push it. That's right. I don't I don't just speak it, I live it. You get the knock, what do you do? You push. You do not allow them to get the res off at all. I do have a trophy, but uh yeah. they're gonna have to come in, so I'm just gonna stop over here. Yeah, we got gas. I'm stopping on this building. Wait, no, I'm not, no, I'm not. I'm gonna keep going. He's gonna, gonna keep going, going, but I'm gonna stop on the building. That way the enemies are distracted. My aim is really bad again, uh, sorry. And I'm able to go ahead and get get the shots off of the enemies at a different angle. Yep. Might be multiple ghosted, be careful. Might go out the back and be smart. There it is. We're all shooting at each other. Alright, let's go back to this real quick. So this is, this is the reason why I jumped out to this building. I like the fact that Expel wanted to continue on because my plan originally was to jump out of this building, have him keep going, and of course, distract the enemies. And look how distracted they are. They had no idea. They had no idea. If you and your squad are running around in a vehicle, make sure you utilize this to your advantage. You could win so many gunfights that you might not be able to win head to head, right? And by head to head, I mean, y'all are staring at each other shooting. You lack aim and accuracy, whatever. Use strategy on your side to help you win the fights. Now, clearly with this one, I, I was lacking accuracy big time. But he had no idea I was there. Even as I'm shooting him, he's still tunnel visioned on my team in the car. Oh, oh my God. I love okay. it. All right, so as we're pulling it. up, we do see some people in this yeah, building right it. here. It does look like they're above they're us, but as we get closer, because of the elevation of the runway, um, they are actually on the ground level. Yeah, I got a Yui. So again, jumping out of the car early, popping dead silence, coming and hitting the enemy by surprise. I notice Expel's going in through the front. So instead of fighting him from the front, I'm gonna come up the right-hand side. You saw me throw the audible literally mid-push. Let me just rewind it real quick. I'm heading, I'm, I'm looking at that left-hand corner to go in through the front door. But again, I see Expel holding that. Blue's over here. I know he's gonna jump out of the back door. So I'm gonna go ahead and work my way in the middle, basically just so that all three of us Hit the enemy from different angles, and I instantly diverge. Skirt, and he happens to jump oh, out. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Oh yeah, baby. See Good stuff, man. Corrupt coming from the back inside, getting the knock. I'm able to get the knock as well. Boom, 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 team wipe. Grab this bounty. I got a uh, trophy system right here. <laughs> trophy. I have Deddy still being used. It hasn't completely uh, com depleted yet. Yeah. So of course, I call it the trophy system because we are using vehicles so hard. And again, UAVs and bounties. They're the truth, guys. They're the truth. Okay, you guys getting together? Yeah. Y'all finna party over there? Yeah, don't be jealous. All right, so there are many reasons why I don't drive so vehicles. Alive. I'm not the best team player when it comes to vehicle right. driving, and I kind of kill my team in this situation. Watch. Oh my God, they're all ghosted. There's two or three.
I'm so bad. I'm so bad. Live ping. Guide you. Oh, I just down myself. Keep, keep resin. Keep resin. I'm very bad at that situation right there. There are a lot of things that I did wrong as a player. One, I drove my teammates right into the middle of, of death, essentially, because I was the driver. I try to go for the splat. When I miss the splat, I jump out of the vehicle, even my two teammates vulnerable, to try to get the kill. Unbeknownst to where his two teammates were at, always, always, always analyze the entire situation before you put yourself in a position like that, because I do believe we are better players. And because we were in such a bad spot, I was panicking, which is the reason why I was missing all of my shots and also bad decision-making on who to focus on and who to kill. I shouldn't have gone for the execute. Should have outplayed the enemy situation. I threw a lot of mistakes into that one right there. And it did cost us our lives and almost the game. Now, I didn't lose a gulag at all that day. We played for six oh, yeah. hours. And I won every gulag. Granted, this wasn't one that hard. He just stood there. What? Slow yeah, walking to the side. What's wrong with it? You going back, X? You down for that? Are you going I'm back? I'm definitely going back. Thirst anyone. Nah, those, those kids are shit. Okay. And I did thirst one of them. Seems like a terrible idea. I kind of screwed it. I, I screwed corrupt up by stopping the car. I should just kept no, going. They're getting shot right now, bro. It's fine. It's no, fine. Right, bro. Are they getting shot? So I'm following shot? the tracers. I'm noticing uh, where they're coming I'm from. Right now. I don't think so. Wait, is there a position on me? Yeah, there is. Oh, let me get out the way. Woo! I dropped in, but I'm on the roof. Damn. Okay, we gotta watch out because there's a team to the 230 somewhere. Blow us. Now it's dangerous sitting on this they're ledge close, because of the apartments. Close. Run out, run out, run out. Just keep running. He's on the roof. There's the guy I killed the first time, able to kill him again. Sorry about that, Eric. He's on me. Instantly, when he said he's on me, what do I do? Another guy, another guy. I jumped down boys. to help my teammate. When we're spectating randoms, what do we always see? I mean, always. Lack of teamwork, lack of confidence. Most players, when we spectate this position, they're gonna sit there and they're gonna crouch walk to their teammate. No, when your teammate's screaming on me, you need to get to him as fast as possible, even if you're a little bit further away, because you never know what's gonna happen. That's exactly what happens. I jump down there and I'm able to assist expel, get the knock, get the execute, and roll on out. All right, grab this you have. my gun, bro? We should have enough. I'll uh, give me your money. I'm gonna go buy him back. Yeah, Instant yeah, throwing up the UAV because again, after the fight, don't see anything over here. Gonna go ahead and buy him back. All right, right now I noticed two people on the mini map. Okay, down the wall. Down the wall. This is pretty right self-explanatory. Yeah. Instead of just going out there and randomly shooting, I want to use stealth to my. He just got killed because he sucks. Crack. I want to use stealth to my uh We're benefit. Him without corrupt. I'm useless anyways, bud. One more behind the backside. All right, enemies crack this position, so what do I go ahead and do? I shouldn't have executed because I know I'm getting shot at. Instantly come out. Yeah. I, got I knew he was pushing in. I saw him on the mini map. He was already shooting at me. My teammates had bailed away because they were damaged. I knew this guy was coming for me, so I instantly go out there and ego challenge the shit out of him. If I would have stayed in the cubby, the chance of me winning that would have been a lot, lot less, honestly. So I happened to slide out the moment he looked in, um, and I was able to hit him from the side. I think I'm gonna take a rooftop, bro. I'm gonna grab a UF. I'm, I'm stupid. I'm gonna go up on this side rooftop. I say I'm stupid up. because the yeah, buy station is in a very dangerous and spot, anymore. and you always run a risk of dying. Snipe them first. Because I know there's teammates around here. Oh, weird. Or enemies, not teammates. I know there's enemies around. Okay. I should have grabbed that dead silence and pushed up oh, there. Going? Looking back. In the staircase. Is there anywhere? anywhere? They definitely don't. It's know a big bag doing. right in front of you, blind bitch. Maybe focus on me because I'm just flapping my big ass feet. No, there's a guy behind the kills. Was he in the window? I don't know who just shot me. I've literally no. So I noticed broken window, expel gets shot, and I heard glass break very close. Well, that's pretty self-explanatory. I think it's in this building right here. So now I'm making a mental note that there's an enemy in this building. Watch how my knowledge bites me in the ass later on, even though I was correct. No that window cracked me. whenever it shot. Corrupt, you're pushing up solo on two people, okay? <clears throat> One more. Minimum. He's not. No, no, dude. OTS, bro. Oh, no, not. XM4, what? You got XM4, bro. Stabbed your ahead of me by just a little bit. I'm getting corrupt back real quick. Uh, I still think there's a guy in this building when you're zipline right here. Yeah, I think you're right. I know that's dangerous. So I go ahead and buy quickly. I should have cleared this building. No, no, no. I really should yeah, have. I knew he was yeah, in there and I didn't yeah, freaking dead. clear it, dude. I'm going to grab another UAV because I'm stupid. 
Oh, I got sniped. Um, when you land, you I'm dead. I'm dead. Weird, <sighs> savage. He wasn't building the whole fucking. Holy shit! So fucking weird. Who would have thought? Uh, I knew. I, I knew I was stupid. Oh, I called I'm it out three times, and I still went for yeah, it. Granted, to get me. got the UF, so it was important, <clears throat> but that was not the best play. The I should have cleared oh, that building first before I went car, there. That was bro. dumb. That was really dumb. There you go, Max. Let's fucking... Expel able to go in there and clean it up, able to come get the rest. So it ended up working out, but oh, it almost came at a very but, costly hey, UF. Give me cash, cash, give me cash, give me cash. Quick, 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 quick. Now. I'm actually going to remove my camera and I'm going to shut my mouth. But Savage, you said that already. But I'm, I'm going to do that because it's in game and the call outs and the way we just navigated the in circle is crucial to you guys. And I want you guys to see how efficient we are with, you know, just observation, call out strategy, planning the entirety. Um, this is very important. And again, after each fight, I will come back and we'll discuss it. But I want you guys to really pay attention to this. There's two on the other roof. I've downed and cracked them repeatedly. So they're going to be pretty... Okay, I'm... No, I'm down. You safe? Do you know where he is? I'm good. No, I don't. We'll be all right. We won't get hit by gas. <clears throat> He's in the stairwell on the left-hand side I'm of the building. down these guys like four times. Um, I think we can grab this hill first and just gatekeep them. Mm, they'll have... Yeah. Or we just sit right below them until they jump. Oh, that's you. Jesus You scared Christ. the He's absolute... He's right there. He's right there. That was a guy Two of them. Down one. I'll throw a thermy. They're getting shot from uh, across factory area. Yeah, I think we need. He jumped. Down him. I'm one going. Th I'm holding the hill. I'm holding the hill. It's the best ground right now. Maybe that guy that has a self. You can finish. Watch it. He does have a self. You're right. There three guys in the same building over there, dude. They're peeking the same. Go, 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 Dead, dead, dead. Go. I'm coming. I'm coming. <clears throat> We need to, hey, y'all come up the hill. We need to ra rotate hard to the east around to get I, zoned. I have no plates. You have plates? I, got, I do, I do. That guy had plates. Wait, wait, that yeah. guy, that guy had plates. I can drop. We got to go now, though. Come this I'm way. Out. Come this way. <clears throat> those guys got in a car and are driving. Savage, did you say you have plates? Yeah, high five. I you just saw two. those guys hop in a buggy, brothers. Hey, I dropped three for you. Thank you so much. Yeah. We've got some. So, so they rotated, you're saying? Yeah, they rotated. Yeah, I don't know where, but. Watch this hill over here. On your right, on your right, on your right. Loading. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Quick reload. Moving up, they're fighting, they're fighting over here. Let's just sneak up right now. There's only one team on our count of four, and they still might be up here. Just watch the right side. I'm gonna try my best to get this hill right here. Nice, okay. corrupt. Good shit, good shit. Good question, baby. Oh, that's them behind us. Crack that guy. On Still one more over there. Hit. Cracked. Down. I hit him on the thermi. He's down. One more over there. Someone yeah, wants to get I have factory. I'm corrupt. Down. I think they're just. It's just two solos. I'm coming to get corrupt. So I'm just gonna play the life. Yeah. He may push. Just watch me. I don't even know where they are. It's just one guy. He's in factory. I never got the kill of the guy to the southeast. Watch your back. There's still a guy over here at safe. That's the last guy then. Just push and stun him. Yeah. I don't know. I feel like they're gonna be separate, bro. There's only one guy. Only one guy. Oh. He's in the. Oh, and he's right I here. Stunned him. There he is. Yeah, that was it. I got 26 kills. All right, so again, let's go ahead and walk you guys through it real quickly. I just want to kind of highlight and touch on some things. And I want you guys, I just wanted you guys to hear the banter and everything. And you know how I am. I like to talk of everything. Um, But up here, I'm holding the high ground. I'm taking charge as far as call, call outs are concerned because they're in a bad spot. And I want to go ahead and get the message across strategically wise. This is the best area. Expel goes down. And because of my angle, my separation from my teammate, I'm able to go ahead and shoot the enemy in the back get that easy kill. And then I'm wanting to stress across. I keep saying, let's grab the hill and no one's responding to me. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start pinging that shit. Like, come on bitches, get your asses up here so we can get safe. Because in my head, when you look at this zone, this is the safest spot. Yes, it's not in the zone, but it does lead to a very nice ridge, which you saw us play by the bridge. I'm gonna go ahead and ping the hill, get your asses up here, guys. We're gonna go ahead and rotate around. Now, at, right now I'm analyzing the numbers. It's four enemy teams, 
I know that there's two enemy teams to the north because we hear them shooting. So that means there's two teams unaccounted for. Well, when you break down the mini map and you look at the actual map in the circle itself, where else can the other two teams hide? You're right. The hill is over here behind my camera and this one over here as well. Um, and again, because it is two separate teams, I don't think they'd be sitting next to each other, which is why I'm pinging it and calling it out. That's how I'm analyzing the map now. Sometimes I'm wrong, but most of the time I'm right. Again, just use basic deductive reasoning to kind of figure out the situation at hand. It's not a very hard or com complex thing to do. You just got to kind of just make it an art of practice. This is what I used to do during PUBG, and it worked 99% of the time. This is what I do in Warzone, and it works 90% of the time. And the only reason I say 90 is because it's a little bit ratty out here in these streets. Now, notice, because there's two teams fighting over here, I mark that I'm going to go to this hill because this is the best ridge can test them. Granted, I knew there was another player to my hand side, and this puts me in a vulnerable area. Thankfully, he's missing his shots, and Expel's able to go ahead and put some shots on him as well to distract him. I'm able to play safely. Now, I'm not getting two tunnel vision because blue is in a very bad spot. Now, I want you guys to see the audible I throw mid-fight right here. Blue is getting shot at right now from the guy to my right, on my left-hand side. He goes down. So I'm going to go ahead and eco-challenge this and try my best to get the knock. As we're fighting, I notice, shit, I'm not as accurate as I should be. He's only hit me once, maybe twice. So I'm going to go ahead, drop prone, and try to play my teammate's life instead of getting greedy for the kill. And that's exactly what I do. So as I'm going for the res, I tell Expel. Yeah. He may push. Just watch me. To watch me. I want to make sure that Expel is covering my ass so if this dickhead does push me, he doesn't kill me. So as I'm getting the res up, I'm keeping my eyes on this way. Granted, I'm behind a tree, so I can't really see shit. And I'm instantly diverging. Again, deductive reasoning. It's a 3v1 situation. I downed a guy over here that I didn't get the full on. He's probably had self-res, clearly, because he's solo. So I'm going to go ahead and come back this direction. I mark it as well, because I'm not selfish, and I don't care who gets the kills. Um, I do want to fight for kills, but at the end of the day, it's more about the win than anything. So I go ahead and ping it, let my teammates know this is where he's at. Um, and I, and I, know, I know it's where he's at. I'm just checking just in case. He starts shooting me, instantly snap on him, and get the easy kill. GG. And again, look, you know, I really like posting my own gameplay and kind of analyzing it because I can really put you guys in a better mindset. We can spectate better lobbies. And I can tell you exactly what I'm thinking mid game. Show you the mistakes I make, show you the good plays I make. I'm not a perfect player at all. I'm not the best player by any stretch of imagination. I'm not trying to pretend to be. I really genuinely want you guys to get better at the game. That's the whole purpose of the series. This is why I've been doing it for literally almost two years now. I want players who struggle with BR, like I used to as well, five years ago when I started playing, I want you guys to improve. And I know the mindset y'all are in, and I know the direction that I need to take you guys in order to get you to the mindset that I'm currently in. And again, guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you learned something new. If you did, please leave a like on the video. Let's get this video to 500 likes. Subscribe to the channel today. But until next time, guys, you have a good one and good luck in Warzone.